Michael Caine fell in love with a girl in a commercial, found her, and became her husband. You've been married to Shakira for how many years now? Uh, 45 years. Love and passion at their finest. At least one unexpectedly saved life. And wait, why did Kane's second wife think he was ruthless? Welcome to Rumor Juice. In today's episode, we'll look into this awe-inspiring love story. After 60 years in the movie business, British actor Michael Caine has seen it all. He appeared in more than 160 films, won two Oscars, and even received a knighthood. But in his recent autobiography, the legendary actor shared personal stories of severe hardship. I was never bombed on set, but I thought that a small vodka for breakfast was nothing to worry about. And in the early 1970s, I was drinking two bottles of the stuff a day, Kane confessed in his book. The Alfie star shared that he found himself at a low point in his life around the age of 40 when he began drinking heavily. Luckily, it was around this same time that he met his wife, model Shakira. More than five decades ago, Kane saw a girl in an ad, found her, and married her. Lady on the television in a commercial and fell in love instantly. And then she helped him turn things around. Shakira literally saved Michael's life. Yes, we can say it was love at first sight, but only for Michael. A legendary actor is a man who found love in a coffee ad. It was like a bolt out of the blue. Kane knew he had to find and meet this girl. He later explained what was going through his head at that moment. In the evening, he and his friend Paul were watching TV. Then an ad came on for Maxwell House Coffee and something caught his eye. He saw a girl dancing in the background and was mesmerized. My heart started pounding. My palms became sweaty, he said. He then got down on his knees in front of the TV to get a better look at her close-up shot. This girl is amazing, he told his friend. I want to meet her. Interestingly enough, his friend Paul knew her and told Kane that she lived in Brazil. I just watched her and I thought, that's the woman for me. And I said to my mate, I said, we're going to Brazil in the morning. We're going to find her. <laughs> Kane then tried to phone Maxwell House to see who did the commercial, but apparently he was too excited and instead headed to the pub to get some liquid courage. At the pub, he bumped into another friend and told him that he'd fallen in love. When Kane shared the details, his friend revealed that he actually worked at the company that made the commercial. It was their team that worked on the advertisement. The Cider House Rules actor said without hesitation, Well, you know the Brazilian girl in it? I'm going to Brazil in the morning to find her. Can you help me? He thought she was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. But the conversation took an unexpected turn. The friend told Kane there was no need to go to Brazil because the mysterious girl actually lived in London. His friend answered, He said, Michael, she's not Brazilian. She's Indian. He said, oh, really? And he said, yeah, and she lives in the Fulham Road. <laughs> it seems like a miracle now, finding the love of his life in a way so unexpected. But it wasn't all roses, as Kane used questionable methods to draw Shakira's attention. He eventually got her number from another friend in the advertising industry and reached out to her shortly afterwards. Michael allegedly called Shakira 11 times in a row, asking her to go out, but she said no every time but the last one. She agreed to go on a date with him during their 11th conversation. I fell in love with her in about eight minutes. It took her two hours to fall in love with me. Kane describes a precious moment. The legendary actor later revealed that Shakira had an impressive impact on him. He confessed she saved my life, really. It turns out that when Kane first saw Shakira in that commercial, he had almost hit rock bottom and constantly filled the void with alcohol. But she changed his life beyond all recognition. Without her, I would have been dead long ago, Kane told the Radio Times. I would have probably drunk myself to death. There was always some stressful thing. Beating Shakira calmed me down. She never told him to stop drinking, but being with her made him want to stay sober and be alive. He opened up in the interview with The Telegraph. At the same time, Michael's personality turned out to be quite different from what Shakira expected him to be. I had just seen him in Get Carter, and he seemed so aggressive and ruthless. Instead, I found him charming and very gentle, someone whom I'd like to spend part of my life with, she opened up. Michael and Shakira ended up marrying in 1973. Shortly after the wedding ceremony, 
the couple welcomed their baby girl, Natasha. But wait, you don't want to miss out on the next videos about your beloved stars, right? Subscribe and get your hands on the latest news on spicy celebrity life. The reason their marriage worked so well all these years is that they stayed empathetic all along the way. We have a genuine partnership. No male chauvinism, no women's lib, Kane said. Before meeting the love of his life, Kane was already divorced. When he was just 22, still an aspiring actor, Michael married Patricia Haynes. But that relationship didn't work well as the couple struggled with poverty. Kane later described his failed marriage. I wish I'd known that if you fall in love, you don't have to marry. I fell in love with Patricia Haynes and we were married a few weeks later. I sometimes got small jobs on television, but gave up acting work because Pat was more talented and had more chance of success. Kane tried to make both ends meet with little success. He worked in a laundry, cleaned a restaurant kitchen, and had a stint as a plumber's mate, but he could hardly bear that severe hardship. To make matters worse, Michael didn't know how to handle parenting responsibilities and cope with failures in acting. He confessed, Pat became pregnant, and we had our wonderful daughter, Dominique. But it was the wonderful straw that broke an already very weak camel's back. So, Kane walked out on his first marriage. He actually admitted his fault for ruining everything they had with Patricia. He said, The marriage breakdown was entirely my fault. I was too young and immature to take on the poverty and personal and professional failure. Misfortune almost broke the young actor. He opened up, I collapsed like a house of cards. I was out of work, had no money, and was forced at the age of 23 to return to the council house where I'd lived with my mom and dad and rely on their generosity again. But he reconciled with everything that happened during that period. While I don't regret my past, he concluded, I would not want to change the present. When a man has got a missus like mine, you don't have to look any other direction. The 88-year-old actor is so reliant on Shakira now that he calls her his right-hand man and confidant. He even attributes his success to her. I tell her everything. I was famous when I met her, but I couldn't have got this far without her, he shared. Their relationship has evolved over the years, so Shakira became a partner in his work. It's not just a partnership built on love, it's also a business partnership, King revealed. The legendary actor also got honest about how easy it is to stray when you're surrounded by beautiful actresses. He never fell into that trap. In this business, you're surrounded by beautiful women, but I've got one at home, so I've never been tempted to stray. Going on location is a killer. Among actors, they say, well, location doesn't count. I never went with that saying, because I never went on location without her. Simple. Wherever he goes, Shakira is always with him keeps their marriage strong. When you go away for a long time, you visit places the other one's never seen. You eat in restaurants the other one's never been. You meet people the other one's never met. Both of you have started a separate life, and it's very important you don't do that, I think," the actor shared. Like any couple, Michael and Shakira endured more than one crisis, but they never separated. Her temperance always made the waters return to their course. Michael's respect and recognition did the rest. Pax was by his side when he was knighted in 2000. As always, she accompanies him on all his premieres. Despite his ripe old age, Kane has an active presence in the media. As he wants to see his three grandchildren grow up, the legendary actor follows to the letter the healthy diet that his wife prepares for him, visits doctors, and follows all the trends that prioritize the good life. A reporter once said to me, he said, how do you feel about growing old? I said, well, considering the alternative, fantastic. Yes, he tremendously changed over the years. Without Shakira by my side, I don't know what would have happened to my life. Surely I would not have been so many years old and in good health. He lost weight and always has a new script on hand to study. It's not the time to retire. He carries his cane with nobility and chivalry. Seducing as always, and accompanied by that tenacious woman who is much more than just a girl from the coffee ad.